got a new drop today, so I'm going to take you guys throughout the entire week and show you everything that I'm doing up until drop day, and then hopefully we'll have a successful release. My name is Eben, and I own a brand called OmniWorld. Today we are dropping two fire-ass pair of jorts. Boom, boom. So first up, I'm going to take you guys back to last week where we had the photo and video shoot inside of a train tunnel. Here's how that went. We are at the train station, about to shoot some stuff for this upcoming collection. We're shooting a video and then shooting some photos too. Oh, it's totally a saber. We got the shot list. We got the video shot list. Yo, we'd be behind the scenes. I just got a haircut. Now I'm back. So. I love Omni. Party at the train. Hi everyone, I'm Anna. This is Ocean, we're the models, clearly. Like, Amedio brought us snacks. Which we have bring? our best production assistant out there. We love you, Wait, Tanner. you need to use them. Here she comes. Now, how did that feel filming that shot? It felt exhilarating. What are you planning on doing next time? Probably staying on the train. We'd love to see it. I feel like I got a sniper scope. What are you doing? That is tweaking on the camera. Bro, look at this. Yeah, you see that? Nice. Did like the front view, back view. Those are not going in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look like a Lego boy. That one's good. Sick. Yeah, Whoa, Eddie, you're gonna love this. Let me see. <laughs> Whoa, that one's Alright, it's like nine o'clock now. We just got done shooting, had them running around all over the place. How are you guys feeling after running around? I'm ready for my froyo. I'm gonna go buy them some frozen yogurt. And some cigarettes and some beer for Ocean. Nope, we don't condone smoking cigarettes. <laughs> what are you getting? I got the strawberry and vanilla. <laughs> what are you getting, man? English toffee. Oh, we, we have one fishy uh, swimmer. One fishy swimmer. Yeah. What the? Danish chocolate, New York cheesecake, something vanilla. The waffle compass is good. You need that crunch. You need the gummy and you need the crunch and the poppy. The boba. The poppy's kind of weird. Alright, guys, so I'm back at the crib now. I'm about to go get some lunch with a new mentor of mine. I joined this program earlier this year, which connects me to a bunch of entrepreneurs in Portland, Oregon, where I live. So I have meetings once or twice a month with other entrepreneurs or mentors, which has been super valuable. If you want me to make a video on how it did that and how you can do it too, then leave a comment below and I'll make the vid. All right, I'm about to hop on the bike and go get some lunch. All right, so I just dropped about an hour ago. I didn't get the chance to actually film the drop because I'm filming on my iPhone right now. And I had a bunch of content to post. I had to pick the giveaway winners, answer DMs and whatnot. In the future, I'm gonna try and get another camera so I can film the live drop as well as film the YouTube video at the same time. But for now, we just are filming on the iPhone. So the drop is going pretty well. I'm not gonna lie, it's not as good as I had hoped for, but I can't complain. Gotta keep my head high and just take what I can from it and learn 
and improve for next drop. What about 120 people on the site when it dropped and orders are still coming in? Should keep seeing them come through over the weekend and then throughout the next couple of weeks. If you copped and you're watching this video, I seriously appreciate you so much. Thank you. But yeah, so I'm gonna walk you guys through everything that I did leading up to the drop in terms of strategy, advertising and marketing, all of that stuff. Tell you guys what went well and tell you guys what did not go well. So first up here are the pieces I released. We got these jorts right here and we got these jorts right here. Kind of a weird drop, honestly, not super diverse. Uh, this release was honestly a little bit of a rush, which is something I should not be doing. I should have learned from that in the past, but I hadn't released anything for quite a while. So I really just needed to get something out there. So, so people know I'm still an active brand. It had been like two months or something so so i just had to get something out there and get that momentum rolling again but we got two pairs of jorts both are pretty unique so they got some sort of wow factor to them something to separate them from the crowd they're not just some basic pair of jorts you can't get these anywhere else and so the green ones cost 75 dollars the black ones are priced at 85 dollars so i've got a little difference in price which is just based off of the cost of production as you can tell the black ones are much more detailed so 75 85 is a pretty expensive price for jorts but they are super high quality and very detailed all these details custom buttons custom rivets a bunch of embroidered logos all over the jorts got the embroidered patches sewn on there got all the 3d cargo pockets got the super nice vintage wash on them and then they're also just made with a very high quality 14 ounce denim so of course with all these details the price of manufacturing is not cheap but anyways like i said this drop was a little bit rushed not super rushed i had about 10 days to promote it but ideally i would have two weeks to promote and just get everything ready 10 days is definitely enough time but i personally think two weeks is kind of like the sweet spot just get lots of content out and really build up the hype for the release but yeah, and it just really depends on the scale of the release as well, how many pieces or how, many, how much quantity you have total. So the first thing I did to promote the drop was I hosted two giveaways. I posted each pair of jorts by themselves with a giveaway on each one. These giveaway posts performed pretty well. Giveaway posts always perform quite well because you've got so many people sharing the post, tagging their friends, saving it, all that stuff. So naturally with that, it just boosts the post in the algorithm as well as you have all these new people that people are tagging. So you get a lot of new eyes on your brand and all you got to do is give away a couple of items. In my opinion, it's a trade-off that is very worth it. So I would definitely recommend it for your own brand if you are not doing it already. I also took some high quality product photos. So these are pretty simple right here, but they're high quality. They look good on the website. They look good on social media. I think the only way it could have been better was with maybe a smoother concrete background or a white background like in a photo studio. Overall, they still look pretty good. Good product pictures are key for a successful drop. If you don't have good product photos, it just might not do the pieces justice. Like I've seen some brands post their pieces and it's taken on just like a really bad background and it just totally ruins the post. So make sure you got a good background. If you don't have a good place at your house, you can drive around or look around and find like a parking lot. Or another option would be to go to the art store and buy one of those big foam boards. I showed you guys how to do this in my last video. So go watch that if you haven't yet. But basically you just buy a big ass foam board from the art store and then you can put your products on that and take pictures of them for a very clean professional look. All right, so next up to promote the drop, I have just been posting a fuck ton of video content. The engagement on the post hasn't been super good, which is definitely one of the reasons why the drop has not been as good as I'd hoped. But regardless, I've been super consistent with it, posting two or even three times a day on both my brand page and my personal page. But yeah, so I didn't have as good of luck with the videos this time, which could have just been... I needed to make better content or maybe the products don't resonate with people as well. And that's why it's crucial to get good feedback before you release your products. I definitely could have done this a little bit better. But like I said, I was kind of in a rush just to get some pieces out there because it had been a while. So I just needed to get that momentum built up again. But prior to this release, I had posted some designs on my story, just a couple of different designs for jorts and asked my audience which one was their favorite. So each one had a poll. Basically, whichever one performed the best, that's the one that I ended up ordering. 
which was the jorts that I dropped today. So I got a little bit of feedback there, but if I did have more time, I would have just kept posting those videos when I actually had the samples in hand and then saw how well it would resonate with my audience. You know, if people are like, yo, drop this, I need it right now. And I get a lot of comments like that and people, you know, fiending for me to drop it, then obviously it's a good idea to drop it. But if you post those videos and you don't really have people engaging with the content or telling you to drop it, then it might not be a good piece to release. And honestly, with the pieces, like you never really know how good a piece is going to perform. There's been pieces that I've released and I'm like, this one is going to do so well. And then it doesn't. And then there's other ones where I'm like, yeah, it'll probably do all right. And then it just goes crazy. So you really just got to test it and see what people actually like, because you can't always predict which items are going to resonate well with your audience. And then you can prevent your releases from just completely flopping if nobody ends up buying it. But yeah, so I didn't have a ton of luck with the videos for this drop, but I'm going to keep the consistency up, keep posting every day, and keep improving the quality of my content. Just keep testing different formats or captions or hooks, you know, all that stuff, and just keep making it better and better. Consistency is key, and I should continue to see orders coming in every day. I also went out and got some good pictures of me wearing the jorts, which I've been using for the content on my brand page always good for a release to get some pictures of someone actually wearing the pieces because for one then your customers can envision themselves wearing it and then two just to see how the pieces actually fit on body a lot of people won't even buy something if there's no photos of it on a model because buying clothes online can be tricky for a lot of people so so you want to provide people with as many photos and details as you possibly can to make it as easy as possible for them to order it and figure out what size they need and just all that shit. Next up, we're running some Facebook ads to get some more sales. And I'm not doing this personally. I have an agency handling the ads right now. But the basic strategy is you run some pre-drop campaigns with a broad audience just to gather some data on your audience. And then once you actually release the collection, you can retarget all the people who engaged with your ads or visited your website and then target those people for the conversions. And then we also had email and SMS campaigns go out at the time of the release. So when the pieces dropped, all of my email list and SMS list got a notification saying out now with a photo of the jorts and then a link to the website. Super simple. I'll put a picture on the screen right here. So yeah, that's pretty much everything that I did to promote this release. This was kind of like a smaller scale release, so, so I wasn't going too crazy with the promotions. I'm not at the point yet where I can just release something and have it sell out instantly, but that is the goal to strive for. We want to keep growing that demand up. So over the course of the next couple weeks and months, I'm going to just keep up the consistency with the video content, TikTok, Reels, YouTube, and then keep running the Facebook ads and scale whichever ad creatives are performing the best and then keep sending out email and SMS reminders. All right, guys, here's a sneak peek of what I'll be releasing next. We got this crazy knit soccer jersey. We got this green and yellow one. And then we also got these fabric swatches for this blue and white one, which goes crazy. And then we got this brown and cream one too. These are going to be fucking insane. Definitely going to release these hopefully in July. The quality is so crazy on these. Turned out so fire. Got this loose knit on the sides. This fabric is so soft. This thing is so comfortable. It's got a wide boxy fit too. It's Tuesday now, so those are some orders over the weekend. Drop went pretty well. Like I said, it didn't go quite as planned, but I can't complain. Still went pretty good. But I will learn what I can from this drop and apply it so that we can run up this next release even better. And if you guys need some new jorts, definitely go cop a pair. You will not regret it. I'm also house sitting, by the way, hence the different background. But anyways, I wanted to also talk about the mindset real quick. Before this release, I told myself it doesn't matter about the outcome, whether it's a success or a failure. It does not matter because I'm going to continue doing the same stuff. If the drop was a complete flop, I'm just going to keep working on the stuff I know I should be working on, posting a lot of video content, making better products, improving the overall quality of the brand. And same thing if the drop is a success. I'm just going to keep grinding, keep working, and being consistent. So really, the outcome of the drop did not matter that much in the grand scheme of things. You got to have a long-term mindset about it. 
Anyways, I'm gonna be super active on YouTube this month. I got a lot of new videos coming out. Next one, how to find a manufacturer for your clothing brand. Also, how to make a tech pack for your clothing brand. I will also be dropping a manufacturing list. So that will have all of my personal manufacturers on it. So if you're struggling to find a manufacturer and need a better one, definitely keep an eye out for that video and the manufacturing list. I'll be going to LA next week. So I'm gonna be filming a vlog there, meeting up with some other brand owners, doing some dope ass shit. Should be a fun time. And then we also have a new release coming at the end of the month. So I'll be vlogging that one too. Should be even better than this one. I will also be launching a mentorship program soon. It's not quite ready yet, but it is in the works. If that sounds like something you are interested in, send me a DM on Instagram. Just DM me mentorship on Instagram if you're interested. Basically, I'm gonna just be taking a few brand owners and helping you guys scale to the next level. Also, go to my other website, theclothingbrandlibrary.com. That is a website that I made for clothing brand owners. There's some free stuff on there and there's also some paid stuff if you need it, like some mock-ups. I got the tech pack template on there and some icon packs and whatnot. I'll keep adding more stuff on there, so check it out if you haven't already. I also made a newsletter. If you guys wanna sign up for the newsletter, just be some random updates and stuff. The link will be in the description, but if you guys have watched this far, I seriously appreciate you so much. Make sure you guys are subscribed and got those notifications on, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.